Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only, Jewel here once again, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And we are back for some more of Let's Play of Mario Party 6 for the Nintendo GameCube. So remembering last weekend is the fact that we did manage to show off the last two things for the minigame mode, such as for instance with the forms of the minigames that we have not seen yet, plus with the forms of those rare minigames that we've stumbled across. So for this particular weekend is the fact that the main focus of this is the fact that we are going to be hopping over to the mic mode. And this mode could be only be active if you manage to turn on the microphone accessory, or if you manage to able to turn on the actual microphone while using the controller, then basically this will actually be accessible. However, if you don't have any of those options turned on, then you can't able to actually interact with this mode. So because of this though, yeah, we'll be able to actually show this off. So because of that, th for this though, uh, yeah, we'll probably explain more about it though, Brighton. So we actually have ourselves three modes, which we have Speak Up, Star Sprint, and Mic Minigames. Now, generally, we've already seen two of these already, but uh, we haven't actually seen uh, three of those minigames yet. So... Hopefully we'll show those off until then, so either way, yeah, let's get to it with the forms of Star Sprint, and we'll show off uh, Speak Up until tomorrow's video. So because of this though, for today, we're going to be showing off Star Sprint, as well as the remainings of these uh, three mic mini games. So let's get to it with uh, Star Sprint, and I think I'm also able to go and pick... Uh, Toad for this one, and as far as computer players, I'm gonna go for ladies, which is uh, Peach, Daisy, and Toadette. Although, talking of which, I'll pick Toadette, Peach, and Daisy. So, for Star Sprint, we have three different levels, ranging from Meadow Road, as well as uh, Dark Path, and lastly, Magma Flow. And in order to unlock Magma Flow, you have to be able to pay 50 stars on the star bank, so I just want to classify that. And also, the three of these courses do have their own records, by the way, so uh, yeah, that's something worth classifying for noticing this. And there's no difficulty select on this mode either, so just because of the fact that, well, we'll point it out whenever we get this thing to it. So yeah, let's hop into the forms of the first level in Star Sprint, so here we go. Okay, if you guys are probably thinking about the fact that this is actually my post-commentary on these segments, mainly because of how the fact that, um, I was gonna able to try to do this as in normal commentary, but unfortunately though, I have some syncing issues. So because of this though, unfortunately though, you won't be able to actually hear me going like, run, move up, move down, or anything else like that, over and over and over again, or even reverse for that matter. So yeah, this is gonna be post-commentary for these segments, along with the forms of those minigames itself as well. So because of that though, I just want to classify that. And there's something is worth mentioning for is that every time you say Mario Party, as you can see on screen, that the rest of the CPU opponents decide to join in. And, in, and also during in some segments, you get out to able to keep on saying what's going on on screen. Like for instance, roll it, roll it, roll it for about 10 times. And if you manage to do it more enough, then you have to say specific words, like teamwork as you see on screen. And that way you can able to continue your progress. So this is what the main aspect of the forms of Star Sprint actually works out. Is the fact that obviously if you do have your microphone turned on, basically you can able to actually set all kinds of words, ranging from, you know, move up, move down, or jump, as a matter of fact, or keep on saying run, because otherwise if you keep on saying run, as you notice on the actual speed meter, despite the fact that I keep on saying some really weird words, mainly for like, pause the game, and then trying to go back into the game, so as a result of that specific stuff though, is the fact that that's the reason why, uh, it might actually took me a couple of, uh, edits to do for able to actually realize that I somehow decided able to go through like post commentary not regular commentary just because uh timing with the forms of you know uh doing the exact same timing window with the actual like voice commands on my mic accessory is actually a lot difficult so because of that though forgive me if I able to actually notice something like this so I do apologize for that so uh but when we get to the minigames though, on the other hand though, then I can at least try to able to actually say something at least. So, anyway, so, uh, 
Yeah, as I said before, there are three stages of peace, so because of that though, you normally start the game off that uh, you were able to actually access to two levels. But there's also the third stage, like I mentioned this earlier since the very beginning, but you do need to unlock that by the way, and to do that, you have to purchase that on a star bank. So, I think it's roughly cost about 50 stars, so like I said this before. And if you make your way to the end of this particular stages, it doesn't matter what stages you go to, uh, Brighton will actually tell us that how much stars you actually got, depending on how well you did on certain, like, you know, star sprint levels. So, for instance, I managed to able to got two stars from that particular stage, so, yeah, everything goes all fine and dandy and everything. So, yeah, with the, uh, the metal road, it's actually pretty easy, though. There aren't that much, uh, hazards involved, apart from the fact that with these Monty Miles, the Smash are able to pop up on during certain paths throughout the entire stage. But what if we get into the forms of the dark path, as you see on screen, that uh, you do realize there might be some more hazards, ranging from, well, let's just say, uh, pink boost, depending if the forms of some stimulations involved, and to top it all off is the fact that some of these, uh, well, goop, or any sudden parts throughout the level will attempt to slow you down, including the forms of defenses itself as well. So, yeah, you probably get the idea about that specific topic worth noting for. Mario Party! And because of that though, sometimes you have to say like specific uh, words, as I said, ranging from, you know, a uh, wave, likely for quite a amount of, few amount of times. And um, as a result, that's, uh, that's how essentially how this mode actually works out to be for Star Sprint. Although, usually relatively speaking, it might be pretty weird at first, but it's actually kind of uh, cool. Like, you can able to actually, like, well, every time you get hit by certain hazards, mainly, for example, if I was about to be able to get hit by that pink boot down there, and sometimes you always have to say, grab the star, although sometimes, though, you have to speak clearly, though, because if you don't speak clearly, uh, sometimes the, uh, Brighton will say, like, you have to pick, uh, trying to say something, like, uh, specific, or trying to able to not to rush uh, the actual speaking, or maybe you have to be able to get yourself a clear voice in order to be able to speak it up. And also, if you manage to obtain the Metal Mushroom, then basically not only does it give you a massive speed meter, but also is the fact that you'll be invincible. So because of that, it doesn't last for long though. And also, if you manage to ride onto these little dash pads, it allows you able to actually go a lot more faster. So because of that, something worth mentioning for. Mario Party! Yeah, it's gonna have to bring that up right away, because I really do like that uh, moment right there. And basically, in this part, we have to keep on saying spin for about 10 times, and uh, because we obviously we need to get rid of those pink boos, because obviously that pink boos might be pretty harmful this time around, as opposed to regular boos. So, and you have to say hurry, and then we can able to actually power up the actual light. Because, you know, uh, Pink Boos is actually pretty home for, you know, the actual lights. Just like in several other ghosts, since, you know, Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that. In fact, for what I think about it, this place does remind me of uh, Luigi's Mansion for a bit, except the fact that there's now a whole bunch of uh, jack o lanterns or anything else like that. So, now as you can see, I've got my new record on this particular stage, which actually gives me the opportunity that I can able to get myself my pretty better record than my first time playing through the game. Because obviously my first experience with this stage is just all over the place. So yeah, it might actually get a bit difficult later on though, until Magma Flow, because obviously it does manage to take place in, well let's just say, a lava magma themed world. And because of that though, you have to do have a lot of hazards involved. Which you'll see until whenever we dive right in. So because of that though, and um, there's not much else to say in terms of star sprints apart from the fact that you have to keep on saying several commands, or if you're trying to be able to use the controller, that as I said before, you have to press the R button and then select a uh, variety of menus for this menu navigation until you're able to get yourselves a bit of an easier time just you know, trying to able to take control of the actual character and stuff like that, but it might take a while to able to actually just to choose whatever which specific option you select. 
So because of that though, I think the best recommendation for this is obviously use the, mi the GameCube microphone itself. Just because obviously that will be the better option with the forms of, you know, experiencing Star Sprint. So because of that, not much else to say about it here. So even though sometimes my voice recognition doesn't seem to able to pick up, uh, in time because it might actually get a few seconds delay. So yeah, that's something's worth uh, classified for noticing this. Oh yeah, for Magma Flow for the actual stage itself is definitely one of the hardest levels in Star Sprint. Not only just trying to able to try to avoid or hopefully God forbid if you're trying to get your best time record if possible, but most of the time you got to avoid a lot of stuff, ranging from the cannonball firing as well as the forms of those flamethrowers as you saw that I managed to able to go hurt by that. But that's okay because I'm gonna have to constantly keep on saying, you know, grab the star, and because of that though, it allows me to pick up the star and stuff like that. So because of that though, he has not much right to home about. So here's another Mario Party. Seriously, I do really like that. Especially noticeable that how the fact that, well, since I'm a huge Mario Party fanatic and all that stuff, so that actually keeps me a little bit more entertained with that. So, so yeah, something's worth mentioning is the fact that today's day is, of course, the uh, the 13th of November today, in this case in 2021, and, uh, well, not much else to talk about because, well, obviously, there's not much else to say about it, so... Well, apart from the fact that we can able to actually say this right now, by the time it's all specifically next weekend, well, I don't know what day we're about to be decided to do it, uh, we can eventually able to finish this Let's Play up before we move on to the forms of the next Mario Party Let's Play, before we jump right into the forms of the latest installment of the Mario Party series, which is Mario Party Superstars for the Nintendo Switch. And that will have to be by the forms of both Mario Party 7 and Mario Party 8. Although, if you managed to able to activate that switch over there, that I somehow managed to accidentally skip over, basically it allows me to go faster with those specific little, uh, conveyors and all that stuff. All these little, uh, I don't know what you call those to be honest with you, because I haven't really touched upon mic mode that much though, mainly it's because I'm more into the forms of the regular party modes more than anything, so because of that, yeah, that's pretty much as far as I can say about it. Mario Party! For the fifth and possibly the final time in Star Sprint. And basically you have to say punch for about 10 times and uh, that way it will take down the actual door. So yeah, that's pretty much as far as I can usually think about it. So uh, and the end of the level is just right near. So because of that though, power punch. And as you see, they managed to able to keep punching it and there goes the door. Nicely sweet um, victory right there. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it for Star Sprint, honestly. I mean, usually, relatively speaking, that's as far as I can usually say about this mode. I mean, usually it's a good way you can able to get some stars, but not as much as the forms of how it does on solo mode, because solo mode will be the best experience by able to actually get yourselves a lot of stars. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it for Star Sprint. So, pretty interesting, and now let's move on to the mini games. Okay, sorry about that, because obviously I'm going to have to sort out with the actual commentary in mind, but uh, there we go, we're pretty much done with the Star Sprint mode as I said. So now let's move on to the mic mini games, which, as I said before, we've only seen two so far, so this time, I think I'm also able to go for a different selection. I'm going to be going for... Um, no matter what though, let's play as Daisy. And as far as computer players, we'll go for Yoshi, Waluigi, and as for the computer player, we'll go for, um, well, for the third and final CPU. I was expecting Peach might be involved, but we've already seen her in action, so, um, no matter what though, we have not seen Wario for a bit, so in this case, look at that, the Runaway Guys treatment, which, you know, uh, Chaka Conroy plays as uh, Daisy, and then Nintendo Capri Sun plays as Yoshi, and Proto John plays as Waluigi. So, yeah, pretty cool coincidence, isn't it? So, anyways, uh, these three mini games we have not played yet are Verbal Assault, as well as the forms of uh, another two mini games, which I'll point it out until any second, because we'll show off the first mini game of the lot, Verbal Assault. One player commands a heavenly armed 
Battlecraft. The other three have to destroy it. So basically that the team of three needs to destroy this huge craft and whilst the other uh, player, which means one player, can able to say like all sorts of words on those specific commands. So yeah, let's get to it and we'll go for this mini game in daytime version just because well, we'll just feel like showing some bit of variety involved. You can also play as in nighttime as well, which I'll show it off in the extra video. So, laser, flamethrower, F light missiles, blade laser, La flamethrower. And there goes Yoshi and Wario. Flamethrower. Missiles. And Goombas. Flamethrower. Missiles. And there goes Waluigi. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for Verbal Assault. So uh, yeah, it's got to say like all sorts of stuff. Now, if you're probably thinking that why say Goombas? Well, I'll show this off until whenever we get into the extra stuff because, well, I'll show this off until then. So next minigame we have not seen yet is Talky Walkie. Now this might be interesting to say the least because well, we'll point it out whenever we're able to start this minigame off. So, in this case though, let's see how this plays out to me. So, one player speaks commands to reach the goal. The other three will try to hit him slash her with a spiny. So, again, there's a daytime version as you see, but let's switch it over to the nighttime version so that way we can able to have a different variety when it comes to, like, you know, alternating between day and night cycle. Whilst, to me though, I think the nighttime version does manage to suit well enough for this entire environment, so... Anyways, so let's get to it with, uh, Talkie Walkie. Forward. 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 There we go. <laughs> that was actually pretty easy if you managed to get the pattern down. Especially noticeable that sometimes that that was actually kind of a close call between the actual aiming for that one of those CPUs in mind. But um, yeah, that's pretty much about it for uh, Talkie Walkie. And now let's move on to the last mic mini game, and that's what appears to be Fruit Talk Tale. Um. I'm not exactly too crazy with this minigame though, but in fact we'll uh, point it out until whatever we uh, uh, dive right into this minigame straight away. So uh, anyway, one player says the, says the name of a fruit, the other players have to scramble to the corresponding space before the other spaces fall. So basically I have to say something like strawberry, apple, melon, orange, grape, or bananas. So, now here's something worth mentioning for is that this is on the PAL version on Mario Party 6. This meaning that if when the minigame itself actually goes started, that, um, well, the actual timer shows up. As you see, 72 seconds. That seems quite a lot. So, anyway, let's get to it. So, ah, strawberries. Well, there goes Waluigi right there. Um, oranges. Grape. Apple. And there goes the other two. So yeah, if you ever play this minigame on the American slash Japanese release of the game, it's pretty much going to be strictly 60 seconds. Whilst in the PAL version, as you notice, that we actually got 72 seconds. So yeah, that seems kind of weird to able to have that addition. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for those specific minigames. And I'll meet you guys tomorrow because we're going to be hit on to the next mode, which is Speak Up.